All right, let's reach into the difficult subject, which is going to be hard for the Christian church to hear, but it's something that needs to be said. People don't recognize how we have been trained and how we have been taught when you look upon this word, Lord. Lord, again, does not appear in the Hebrew, and it doesn't appear in the Greek. This is a substitution, right? This Lord is a substitute for the proper name. It's not a translation. It's not a transliteration. However, the word Lord does have a proper translation in the Hebrew, and that word is, for the most part, Baal. If you look at Strong's 1166 and 1167, you'll see that it means master, husband, owner. Interesting that the word would comport husband and owner to the same thing, right? Chief man, confederate horseman, husband, lord, married man, master, right? So we see this idea of owner, lord, and master for the word Baal. And of course, you know, I mean, when you see what happened in the house of Israel, what kind of um, what kind of worship happened, right? That really what took place is that you see that oh, the house of Israel was very quick to run back to worshiping the bull. As soon as Moshe went up the mountain, they went back to worshiping the bull. And part of that worshiping the bull included the animal slaughter. And Stephen talks about this in the book of Acts. He says, you know, look, for 40 years you went out there, you ran back to the bull and began to slaughter animals again. I personally believe that the animal slaughter is a huge, huge offense in the eyes of Yah to slaughter animals for sacrifice. Twice, Mashiach says, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. That's the only scripture he quotes twice in two different places in the gospel. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. The book, The Ascents of James, talks about this. Uh, Ma'alim Yaakov, it talks about this in detail about how every time the animal sacrifice was brought back in to the house of Yasharel, judgment came upon judgment came upon them. And it's because that there's nothing about animal sacrifice in the commands that were given face to face at Mount Horeb that were later written by the finger of the creator himself, there's nothing in there about sacrificing any animal. I mean, you go back and you read Jeremiah 7, 21, you know, do you want to uh, sacrifice the animal and eat the flesh? Eat it. That's a barbecue. That's not a sacrifice. For I did not command you about burnt offerings when I brought you out of the land of Egypt, but to obey my voice. And his voice spoke to them, and told them what he wanted them to obey. But no, they can't do that. 